Hey everybody, Larry McCarran and the very capable Wes Hotkowitz. Two guys with three things, and Wes, you are up. Well, Aaron Rodgers is back, and nobody was happier about it than Matt LaFleur. He kind of led us into the, you know, kind of that third wall a little bit. When he got that text message that Rodgers was going to be back, he said he went darting out of an offensive meeting and also wanted to make sure he read the text message right before relaying it to his coaches. Excited to have number 12 back for year 18 in Green Bay. Believes that this guy can do it as long as he wants to. Is excited to have him back running this offense. There's going to have to be significant changes this upcoming season, but obviously that is alleviated somewhat by having number 12 back in the huddle. Wes, as you know, Matt LaFleur met the press this morning. And the thing that really stood out to me was how impressed he is with Rich Basaccia, his new special teams coordinator. And it sounds like Coach Basaccia is going to bring attitude, scheme, and execution to the Packers special teams, all very welcome commodities. What else you got, Wes? Absolutely. Receiver. I mean, as I mentioned, they're going to have to have changes on this offense this upcoming season. Receiver is going to be a big part of it. Now, everybody thinks about Devontae Adams, and rightfully so, but it's also replacing Marquez Valdez-Scantling. And LaFleur said, over the top, they're going to need a speed option. Now, that's probably going to end up coming through the draft, but that aspect that MVS brought to this offense, that's not easily replaced. That's something Green Bay is going to have to do. And as, as LaFleur said, whether it be the offseason program, training camp, they're going to have to get young guys up to speed quickly. He's confident Jason Brable and that offensive staff can do it, though. Thank you, Weston. And that's two guys with three things. See you next time.